Welcome to Forensic Detectors. I am Dr. Cousin. Today I'm presenting our oxygen detector. Shockproof and waterproof. Check it out, folks. Zero to 30% volume. Comes with a nice stainless steel belt clip. Rubberized feel, folks. It's rubberized because it can take a 20 foot shock drop to the floor. Waterproof two year life of the battery. Last continuously for two years. LED vibration buzzer alarms, folks, and calibrated here in Los Angeles to these traceable sources. Look, folks, IP67, which means it's really, really waterproof. Have a great day. See you soon. Let's get straight to the unboxing of our FD103 oxygen detector, folks. Make sure it's ticked on the box oxygen. Okay, let's go straight forward with that. Grab yourself a knife on the side. Go straight down to unbox this beauty, folks. To unbox this beauty. Okay, you will see. First, you get your wristband. Put that on the side. Next, you get your calibration cap. Put that on the side. We're going to go through how that all works. Your detector bubble wrapped. Just put that on the side for now. And then you have your calibration certificate. Make sure everything signed make sure you have your nist stamp calibration folks the most important what good is the detector not calibrated kick it off the cliff it's not safe put that on the side too your menu your excuse, menu <laughs> excuse me folks your user manual read the attention stuff here folks the danger stuff is very important everything is here we're going to go through it today if you've lost your bearings or you have any questions Email us, it all is there. And a few reminders from Dr. Kaz. We love your feedback and a few safety reminders such as bump test, calibrate, etc. etc. Now put it that on the side and go forward. Take the bubble wrap off. Look, folks, here it is. Now I'm gonna go straight away. Just press the button, the on button is right there, and it's gonna go forward and tell you a few things when you turn it on. Look, it's gonna tell you. The low alarm level, it's 19.5%. The high alarm level of oxygen is 25%. Okay, it tells you what the presets are on the get-go. Very important so you know what the levels are. Then it gives you a 120 second countdown, folks. It's going to count down as that's happening. Let's go through the detector. Let's just clean up here. Okay, folks, check it out. Look, here we have the center hole orifice. The white thing is the protection the membrane the waterproof membrane to prevent water from getting onto the sensor the menu button is there the display is here the power button is there and the orifice here is for the buzzer so you could hear the buzzer on the edge is the led bar this black thing is actually a um, translucent plastic so you could see the leds under there folks now check it out turn it around look at it very quite nice dr cars you did a good job here rubberized housing we have etched back plate again make sure it's the detector you purchased it's oxygen or if someone gives it to you check the back make sure it is the tug gas you are looking for very important safety concern folks and make sure the serial number matches what you had in the box when you popped it out now alligator clip stainless steel if you don't want it no problem at all grab yourself a phillips screwdriver take off that screw and you're set to go you want to change the battery pop off those four hex screws and the battery is inside it's a nine volt lithium battery make sure you use lithium it will last you much longer two years folks two years okay and this is the situation we have now let's just pause and come back once it counts down all right folks we're back live and here is the detector oxygen that it is detecting in the air is displayed 20.9%, which is correct. That's how much oxygen is in the ambient air. And you see the battery display, full battery, folks. If you're in the dark and you just want to have a quick look, you could always press the back button. That's the power button. Give it a quick press. The backlight comes on so you could have a look in a dark situation if you're in an attic or in a cave or in a manhole or something like that okay you just press that guy now if you want to know what the time is you just press real quick the menu button that's the time you press it again it goes back to the instantaneous reading people are like dr cos what does that mean well what's happening now when you turn it on in the normal display mode it is sensing the air 
right at the hole here, folks, and it's displaying to you the concentration. It's an instantaneous reading. This is not a hold. It's not an average. This is the actual reading of the air at this exact point in time, folks. Okay. Now, press menu. We go to time. You want to change the time. Hold down the menu button for two, three seconds. Bang. Now you could change the time any way you like. Okay. <clears throat> you could change the time, whatever it is. You could set it and press enter to enter it menu press enter two seconds it means enter okay so when i say enter it means holding down that menu button for two seconds that's how you enter in your selection so that's basically the display mode we want to get into the menu modes dr Kaz, how do i change the alarms dr Kaz, how do i span calibrate dr Kaz, how do i zero calibrate let's do that right now okay press it down you're going to go into the menu options you have to put in the passcode one two three four one two Three, you see what I'm doing here, folks? I'm using the menu to select through the digits and I'm using the power button to change the digit. Four. Now, remember what I said. To enter, it is hold the menu button for two seconds. Bang. Now it tells me L, H. If I want to zero calibrate, that's what the Z stands for. And if I want to C, span calibrate, it's asking me. Okay, I'm scrolling through this menu selection. If I want to select one, I hold down, guess what? The menu button. That's right, for two seconds. Assuming I want to change the low level of oxygen. I want that 19 instead of 19.5. What do I do? Hold it down. It starts to flash, means I can edit that number. Okay, I'll scroll through, scroll through, and I'm going to use the power button to change the digit. It's 19 now. I want to enter that. Enter. Bang! You see? Now, if I dilly-dally and I'm scrolling through and I'm scratching my head and I'll wait for over four seconds, it's going to kick me out and it's going to go to the display mode. You see what happened there, folks? Okay? Now, we do that for safety reasons, okay? Because we know you're dilly-dallying, something could be going wrong, and we take it back into the display mode. So if you want to go back into the edit mode or the um, menu option, you have to go through that passcode step again. So let's do that, okay? I've taught you how to do that. And let's go one, two, three, four, the passcode. You press enter, two seconds. And then we did the L, we changed it from 19.5 to 19. I showed you how to do that. It's likewise, you could do that for the high alarm. Now, Dr. Cars, how do we calibrate? Dr. Cars, how do we do this? Well, a technical calibration always, folks, starts with the zero calibrate. You want to tell the detector what the baseline is. And for a span calibrate, you want to expose it to a certain gas level. Now, Oxygen is a little different because we know in the air it's 20.9. So here and there, if the sensor wavers at 20.8 or 21 or 20.6, you know, you could just do a simple C. C means a C. Hold it in. A span calibrate. Press again in for two seconds. And that's how you tell it that bang. That is my span calibrate 20.9. It's flashing. When it flashes, it says, should I do it? Press enter. Okay, and then I've told it that is 20.9. Okay, now we only do this for oxygen. I hope that makes sense. Momentarily, if it wavers for whatever reason, you can span calibrate oxygen um, without doing a zero. Okay, but like we say, if you want to do a proper technical calibration, you first have to do zero, then the span calibrate. We recommend from six to 12 months. So let's do the zero, then do the span. Okay, now we're going to get in the menu one, two, three, four. Okay, hold it in. Let's go through to Z because we're going to do a technical calibration, which means Dr. Koz has to press Z. Hold it down. Enter. Now it's flashing. It's saying I want to detect the zero level. The zero level for an oxygen detector is zero oxygen. What does that mean? Expose it to pure nitrogen, folks. Now, the calibration cap attached to the silicone tubing, attached to the gas bottle, okay, to the regulator. And this bottle has pure nitrogen, 99.9999% of nitrogen, folks. That's what we use to zero calibrate an oxygen detector. Pop it on, clamp style calibration cap. Look, it's not snugly fit. Make sure it's a snugly fit, a proper fit. See there, folks? 
make sure that's the case as you could see the design is a little hole air goes in through the sensor and out from that little hole over there folks now it's flashing it's waiting it's waiting to receive the zero air the zero oxygen i'm going to turn it on 0.5 liters per minute folks that's what we need and you're going to see that level decrease okay you're going to wait at least 60 seconds i'll be back in 60 seconds okay folks it's been 60 seconds and i'm getting a reading of 0.0 percent okay zero is coming in sometimes you may get 0 0.2 or 0 0.1 in this case it's a well calibrated oxygen detector it hasn't lost its baseline it hasn't lost its calibration it's at zero okay so uh, i don't really have to calibrate this i'm just verifying in this case that it is zero but if it was 0.1, let's just pretend it's showing 0.1, you would just go ahead and press enter, okay? And then it will verify, and the Z will start disappearing after a few seconds here. And you're going to verify that, yes, it is zero. And now it's back to the instantaneous display mode. And it's alarming. Let's take that off. It's alarming. It's saying, well, you've passed that 19 percent alarm level and that's why it's alarming you see the led flashing there okay it's quite bright because the lights are on it it's actually a little dull um and that's the situation look it's climbing back up because oxygen in the air is coming on the sensor and it's climbing back up to 20.9 okay i'll come back it should it should take it to 20 point on i'll come back in about 60 seconds all right, folks, it's been 60 seconds and it's climbed back up to 20.9%. Now, assuming it doesn't climb up to 20.9% because for whatever reason, the uh, calibration's off. Well, you have to calibrate it. Do the C calibrate, the span calibrate. Okay, let's do that very quickly. One way of doing it from the menu screen is just to press double button and then you press enter. Okay, that's a quick hack for you guys. Press enter again. So you see what we did there? Double button, press for two seconds press it again and press enter. That's how you quickly calibrate from the display mode. If we want to calibrate again to get the C up from the normal mode that we've been using, go through the passcode. One, two, three, four. Okay, hold it down. Go through to C. There's C. Now, if I want to select that, I have to press it enter. It's asking, yes, is that the one you want? 20.9, it may be 10%, it may be 18% calibration. No, I have fresh air here, so it is 20.9. I'm gonna press enter. So it does give you the chance and opportunity to change that or to calib span calibrate to any oxygen level that you wish. It does give you that edit mode, but in this case, it's fresh air. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tell it, yes, that's the one I need. And then it says, okay, are you sure? Put the gas in. Yes, I'm sure, press it in again. And then bang, it locked it in. And once the C is removed, it goes back to the display mode, folks. I hope that makes sense. Again, sometimes that wavers. If it does, double press. It's a little hack there. Otherwise, go through the other menu option per the instructions on the user manual. Okay, folks, that's the way we span calibrate, zero calibrate, change the alarms on this oxygen beauty, the FD-103. Have a great day. See you soon.